What is up friends? It has been forever and a day since I've posted and that is not because I haven't been busy or sewing, just haven't um, filmed anything. So anyways, I have a ton of mail stacked up. I've been waiting to open it um, and I thought that it would be a great way to get back on my page to you guys and show you some of the cool stuff that I have ordered. Grab a seat. Um, so I just got back yes, the day before yesterday, I went out to Texas and met up with the women behind Fabric Fun House. And so a little bit of background is I have met them before. I actually went to Quilt Market with them in 2019 and vended at their booth. So I got a firsthand look at how they run their business. I got to see all of the court colors all laid out, all the wax cotton laid out. Um, and I got to help them kind of talk to potential shops to carry their products and at the same time, Talia invited me to have my sewing patterns out, which helped launch me into a lot of different shops around the country. So uh, for that, I will be forever grateful. But all that to say that I got to know Michelle and Talia a couple of years ago, and obviously with the pandemic, I didn't get to see them. Um, and so Talia called me not too, too long ago and invited me to come out for Earth Day to demo a new product that they will be launching sometime soon. I'm not sure of the exact date, but so I was out there for a week. Um, I stayed with her mom and had a wonderful time and got to see South Austin and visit New Braunfels, which I had never been down there. And it was just a really nice, relaxing, fun time. I think my favorite part, besides the, the morning I left, we all went out to breakfast and had mimosas and just had a hilarious conversation but besides that day um we or i got to go to fabric fun house i got to see the warehouse i got to see their setup and just how it how they run things um which was cool and different from quilt market obviously um but yeah so anyways i don't even really have a point of telling you all that just that i got to go and it was super fun and exciting and um I love Fabric Fun House even more. I don't know, never knew that was gonna be possible. But anyways, I got my scissors. I have my first package here. This is a gift. So the, the packages that I have are gonna be a mix of supplies and um, just little things that I've picked up. Um, this one here is from a local company very close to me. They live in the next town over and they are potter, potters, pottery makers, pottery artists, whatever, ceramicists. I don't know how to say that word, but anyways, they make stuff out of clay, um, which if you've never done that, it's really hard. It's super, super hard. I did, a, uh, I did two classes um, and I had a great time. They were a lot of fun, but it is hard to do. And anyway, so a couple months ago, I decided that I wanted all of my coffee mugs to be handmade, which I've been working on that for years, but I just want to get rid of all the just stock coffee mugs that we have, you know, donate them and then slowly just buy small business handmade mugs. And so when I saw these, I had to get one. I've never seen their work in person, but they do bend in my town occasionally, but I missed the show that they were just recently at, but they'd posted this mug. And I bought it. So let's check it out. Oh, sorry, that was really loud. I like that they didn't use a ton of tape to wrap this up. Wow. So it's a nice tall mug, which is really cool. It has like all these gradients. And then they did some carving. And then they signed the bottom. So there, this is from porch potters. I'll link them below. Like I link everything. The inside is glazed too. This is really pretty. I have to, I just made some coffee, so I might have to transfer to my new cup. So porch potters and they're super fair price. I think I paid like 38 bucks or something for that, which that's for that size mug. That's a really good price. Um, another thing that I bought that I already opened because I wanted to take it with me when I went to New Braunfels last week, was I ordered some new face wash and um, I don't know if you're like me, my face is always really red. You can't really tell right now because I put some concealer on, but 
my face is always, always red, and I've been trying to combat that um, this last month. I've really dove into um, skincare, which I'm a little bit old. I should have started this years ago. Anyways, so I just ordered this um, face wash. So it's by Folk, P-H-O-L-K, which is a black-run beauty business out of Georgia. And the reason I got this is because it's oil-based. So when I first started on my face journey a while ago. I was in color. I was in October. It was when I made my first big purchase towards facial products. And then again, this last month going super deep into it, but I started using an oil-based cleanser, which I thought would, would cause me to break out because I have very sensitive skin and I found quite the opposite. So if you're wondering or interested in trying different brand, check out Folk Beauty. So, oh, it's actually, well, it was shipped from Georgia, but it was actually hand blended in Jersey City, New Jersey. So check them out if you're interested in oil-based cleanser. They also have a bunch of other beauty products as well. Okay, so this looks like product, um, which is cool because they used Eco and Clothes. So if you know, I ship with Eco and Clothes, this company here. Um, they're all like sustainable, recycled and recyclable mailers and boxes and just everything that you need for shipping, but they are sustainable about it, but that's cool. So this package is from Spoonflower and I guess I just didn't expect Spoonflower, such a large company to use this, this other company, which maybe I just have a different idea. I think that they're a large company and maybe they're not, I don't know. Um, anyway, so... If you, re if you saw the bag that I made recently, I um, made a teddy backpack and I used Spoonflower to, as my main print, and it was this print. And so this print is designed by a woman, I want to say out of Hungary, but I can't remember, but her name is Bamo Creative. She's an, um, she's an illustrator and she illustrated this. Art Nouveau poppy print and then I used it was darker blue like a navy and then the poppies were red and orange and that's what I used on my teddy backpack and then a customer or a client saw it and wanted their own and since I don't recreate I sent her all that different options and so she picked this really pretty turquoise and pink fabric and so what's cool about this fabric is so it comes from Spoonflower it is recycled canvas. So it's made out of 50% um, plastic bottles, which I just think is a really great way to, you know, utilize the trash that we have here. Yes, so if you're interested, I will link Bamo Creative's Instagram below. And of course you can find Spoonflower. Let's see, okay, so this is a hardware package. This is from, so to kind. I've never actually ordered anything from her before, uh, but I have obviously been aware of her for many, many years. When I first started sewing with Quark, she was the only person that I found in the United States that actually sewed with Quark as well. So I've had, I've been, you know, peers with her for a long time, but I ordered, I wanted to try out her hardware. So I got these twist lock or these flip locks so this part goes in down here and then it flips down and so she uses these on her wallets so I thought that they would be really cool on the Triscale wallet that I just put out and then possibly even NCW or just to close a bag so they're pretty big they're really wide they're they are just over one and a half inches wide by one inch tall so it's a pretty big hardware piece, but I think that it would make a nice statement on a bag or a large wallet. And then I also got chains. Instead of making court crossbody straps, I got these chains, which I thought would make a glamorous addition. They're kind of short. Yeah, so they come down just to my waist here. So if there were a crossbody strap, it would be it would have an ending, <clears throat> excuse me, right above my hip, which, so I guess that would just be a personal preference to the buyer, 
but I thought that these were cool. Oh yeah, and then I got these guys. So on my NCWs, I always rivet a little, I rivet a D-ring to it, and then that's where I attach my wrist strap. But I picked up some of these connectors, which they clamp down to the sides of items, and then you can clip onto this little ring here. So, I, whoops, I dropped it. But I thought that, that, that these would be cool to add onto necessary clutch wallets, or again, larger, other larger wallets, my Triskel, um, or even a small bag. So I just got a bunch of that stuff from her and she has been focused on making masks a lot recently. So a lot of her supplies are priced to sell. Um, I can't, let's see, I paid 43 bucks for all of this and I got a lot of items. My only beef is that they packaged it individually, every single piece, which is pretty standard for hardware, but I, I, I hate all these plastic bags. But anyways. All right, so this is a little package that I ordered. I don't know, if you're on Instagram, you should check out Small Biz Memes. It's an account, and so it's small, B-I-Z-M-E-M-E-S, and they post the most hilarious content and it's all consumer or not consumer but followers submitted so any small business owner knows that you have to deal with just a plethora of um idiocy out in the world and people just assuming that they know better than you and um and people who just like to tell you how to run your own business so and the ones that leave really weird reviews or rude reviews or just I don't, it makes all of it makes all the hard parts of owning a business funny. So I highly suggest following them if you don't already, but they they made some product. Uh, so I got this magnet artist doing it for the exposure because I'm sure we have all been asked, um, give me this thing for free and I'll post about it. And uh, you know, we all know how well exposure pays the bills. And then another cute but dangerous trash. This is a little sticker that I picked up. So this was a review that somebody had left um, in a shop and they said, oh, it was a phone case and the lady, the, the buyer was holding her phone with the phone case from the shop over her baby's head and dropped the phone case, dropped the phone. The phone hit the baby in the head. And so the, the buyer left a review that said that the phone case was cute, but dangerous trash. So that's a little backstory on this, which is just an example of, um, how people just really don't like to take responsibility for them doing things. I don't know how this mom dropping her phone on her baby was the shop owner's fault, but yeah, you'll find all sorts of funny content like that there. All right, so this is another, so this is a shop out of Washington. It's called Hemleva, I think I'm saying that right. H-E-M-L-E-V-A. Again, everything will be down in the description. But this is an Asian run business out of Washington and she designs the coolest gifts or things for yourself. So I got this, this is how it's packaged. I got this Monstera leaf, but it's a sun catcher. So, oh, I don't know if you can. Oh, so you can kind of see how it's picking up on all the colors. So you put it on your window and then when the sun shines through, it makes it like you have a crystal hanging in your window. I got that. And then I also got this sticker. We are stronger together, which I agree with. Um, she also makes these really cool, I got a gift. This is how I discovered this shop. I got a gift from somebody in a maker swap um, last year and she sent me this. Oh wait, oh that's weird. I thought that this was by the same company because it's a wooden postcard and it says have Leva under there. But on the back of this, it's actually cardtorial. So I have no idea. I'll have to research that a little bit more. But yeah, this actually, this is really confusing. Yeah, because this says hemleva.com, which is where 
the sun catcher came from, but then the back of this is Cardtorial. So who knows? Anyways, I think that they're from the same company. I'll do some investigation. You can find the answer below. Okay, so another thing that I bought from another small business on Instagram are these really rad prints. So I love the Southwest. I lived there for a long time. Um, it is just a, a really wonderful, beautiful place to live. But these prints are really neat because the lady, she, it's gold. This is like gold shininess. And this is, these are done by Alexis Make Prints. Alexis Makes Prints. And she's from Santa Venetia, California. Um, and they're all hand printed and one of a kind. So the paper is cool too, because you can see it looks like handmade paper. And then the way that she rips, which I don't know, just adds to the overall aesthetic. But I've had these for a little bit and I wanted to show you guys because they're really great if you have an artist in your life or somebody who enjoys printmaking. These are really neat. She's got a lot of different prints and fairly priced, I think. So this is from Wow Whack, Way Whack, whatever. I ordered um, a decent size order from them recently. And then when I received it, it looked like the, the bag had been crushed. And so one of my, um, my spools of thread was crushed and broken. And then a, a thing of needles was also crushed and broken. So they just replaced it. So this is just more um, a kudos to WAWAC for their amazing customer service. Um, they not only are super fairly priced on everything, but they're fast and nice. They're, they're just a great company. Um, so I know a while ago I had told you that I had purchased the Guterman Mara 120 all purpose to try it out and I love it. So I, last time I ordered from WAWAC, I got a bunch of colors. So if you're interested in thread, it is Tex 25. And then this big spool wasn't very much. There's no prices on this since it was replaced, but they're super cheap, under $4, I think. But yeah, so WAWAC for sewing supplies. I don't remember what's in this box. I think I have an idea, but let's pop it open. I don't think I've ever had this much mail just piled up waiting for me at once. Okay, so I ordered, now this might be a controversial order. People feel very strongly about this company and I personally have never had any issues and so um, I still shop with them. And it's, I don't shop with them very often because it's not a company that I need to, but because they made my rivet press or they made my press machine, I wanted to use their products because I know that it'll fit. So if you haven't guessed by now, I ordered from Gold Star and they are out in California. Um, I don't really know what the huge beef is. I think a lot of people have not had a great um, customer service ex experience with the gentleman who owns the company. Um, but that has been opposite for me. I've never had any issues. Like I said, my press, you see it on my videos. I use it constantly. It's never had any issues with it, thankfully. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted to get some spring snaps. So I ordered a bunch of those. Probably hard to see, but spring snaps are just like the, the regular snaps that you see. They're like magnetic snaps, but not magnetic. They're, they're the ones that snap together. Um, ouch. I thought that that would be a fun addition to have uh, because, you know, magnetic snaps can be really expensive. And I just like the way that these look too. So I'll try those out and let you know. And then I also ordered ooh, the die set for my press machine for the size spring snaps that I got. They obviously don't make these spring snaps, so you could just order these from anywhere, which I probably will do next time. But I really wanted to make sure that I got the right stuff the first time, at least the right size and the right stuff for my machine. And so I ordered 12 and a half millimeter, so they're half inch wide. And so I got the snaps, they're $15 for a hundred. 
So I feel like I could get those cheaper, but now I know. I also ordered a centimeter ruler because obviously you know I write patterns and I, um, I always have to look up how big like one inch is. What is it in centimeters or millimeters? So now I have a ruler that I have to learn how to use. I don't understand why America is the only, or probably, I don't know. Are we literally the only country that doesn't use metric, right? We use imperial. I can never remember. I just had this whole conversation with Talia at Fabric Funhouse too. Millimeter metric, yeah. I think we use imperial. But yeah, I don't know. I wish that we would have learned this when we were younger. Or when I was younger. Okay, so last two packages... This really grinds my gears. I go out of my way to shop outside of Amazon. You know, I have made a stand. I do not shop at Amazon. I'm thoroughly against it just because lining the pockets of rich billionaires um, is just really not my favorite thing to do. But I ordered from this small company and they must have dropped shipment through Amazon. So I don't even remember what this is. Hopefully it's good. I know that Amazon, especially for small business and like the Amazon handmade or whatever is a good option for people. But I don't um, like to shop from them. Oh, I didn't order this. No wonder I didn't know why I had this. This is a gift from my friend Emma out in Colorado. Wow. So they're Arteza water-based ink blendable markers. I've seen these before. Lauren Mormino uses these. She just posted, I think it's these. She just posted a video of her drawing recently and it was these. Wow, what a surprise. This is so nice. So there's, some, there's nothing like opening the mail and getting a package from somebody that you just were not expecting. Now I'm going to have to send her the thing that I bought her forever ago that's still sitting right there on my sewing desk. Oh, that's so sweet. Explains why it came from Amazon too. Because I didn't order. Okay, there's one more thing here. I'm going to assume that this is also for my friend Emma because it's another Amazon package. Yep. And it goes with the markers. So she sent me a coloring book. And it's funny. So it looks like it has like a stories. That's pretty funny. It says, I will bury you in kindness. So basically it's, this book says it's part therapy, part best friend, part humor, and part coloring book. It's an outlet for misdirected energy and creativity and meditation. This is probably pretty on point for what I need right now. So that's really awesome. I'm so, this is the look of genuine surprise and happiness on my face. My friend is so sweet. I get to go out to Colorado to go to her wedding in July. I'm really excited to see her again. It's been a while. Aww. Well, that really explains, I was so confused about the Amazon packages. Now I have to call her. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Sorry, it's been so long. Um, I've got a little bit of more travel to do early next month, and then I'll be back in my studio and bending and sewing a lot. So let me know what you would like to see. I know I always say that. Maybe I mean it this time. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite gift or what, what was your favorite package that I got. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. And um, as always, stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you next time.